Welcome to Short Scale Modeling. My next build is this Galleries Models VH34D Marine Boy. Now, the Gallery Models actually is a trumpeter kit from back in 2014. This one has got new parts and new decals, um, which um, they've added to it all down the, down the line. Um, who Gallery Models are, I'm, I'm not sure. I've, I think it's the first time I've had one of these kits. So there's uh, two variants, if you look on the side of the box here. We have uh, the Marine one and the uh, Rescue or Coast Guard. Now, I'll be doing the Marine one on this kit um, uh, because basically I've never done a Marine one before. So um, let's have a look at the spruce. So the first one is the main fuselage there. Um, it's quite good condition. Um, the plastic looks all right. A little bit of body work in, inside, which is uh, nice to see. Then the next spray will be we have the um, area to be made up for the interior as well as bulkheads. Now by the looks of this you have to make up a, a little capsule of the interior and then place it inside. So next we have the rotor blades and the tail. Um, no flashing on these whatsoever so um, it's in good condition. The next sprue is for the um, engine by the looks of things and um, it's quite detailed this engine there's um first half of the wheels uh, the the next brew is much the same now that little thing i'm pointing to there now that's going to be a nightmare to get off the sprue so i'll have to be careful with that so the next one we have uh, the floats there i would assume i won't be using the floats uh, if it's for marine one um, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll look into that, but um, I can imagine they won't be attached if I've got them on the wheels, which uh, I plan to do. So then we've got a series of little sprues here. These are to to make up the interior. So that's the bulkheads there. Um, sort of canvas uh, drape things here. Not exactly sure. There might be the actual seats, thinking about it, for uh, in the upright position. The, this one is the actual seats uh, in the down position, so I would imagine the other ones are for the upright position. Uh, but um, again, I'll say that there's a, a few little ones, uh, sprues in separate bags here, and it looks like it's uh, different nose cones. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'll, I'll look into it as, uh, before I build it to see if there is an alternative nose part to it. Or it's they're just being safe and putting in a separate package. Um, again, I'll, I'll see. I, I know nothing about this case, so it's all guesswork at the moment. And um, here we go. The uh, clear parts for the windows. It's quite a lot of windows here. The um, instrument panel is clear as well by the looks of it. So I'll have to have a look at the decals and see whether um, they've got the decals for it. The main canopy. Uh, it looks fairly straightforward. Obviously. It's Gonna to have to be painted, masked off. I'll, I'll see whether I'll mask it or just paint it freehand. Depends on the feel. It does come with uh, two frets of uh, photo etch. One is uh, seat belts and things like that. Other parts are for like a grid and uh, I would imagine engine parts uh, as well. So brings me to the instructions. I'll just open this up. Um, to have, uh, not the instructions, my apologies, the decals. Um, so it looks like fairly standard uh, decals. We have the inside nails there, the um, Coast Guard markings or the um, Marine One markings there. So um, yeah, that's not a bad little decal shape there. And they look in good condition. On to the instructions here. And um, I'll just flip through it. Oh, here we have the paint sheet. I'll go through that in a second. So, um, first of all, the, we have the sprue map, and then uh, onto the first page uh, to the actual build. So, it looks like it's the engine, then the cockpit afterwards, and then uh, just switching over there, going on to the interior. So, the seats, uh, yeah, th those uh, seats are two types um, folded or um, in, in the main position. So um, adding the interior into a little capsule pod thing like I, I thought it may be. 
then the looks like there there is a couple of options there. Um, so I'll look into that in more detail. So placing the interior outside the, the, the fuselage, which looks fairly standard. And uh, there's a nose cone there. So I wonder if uh, that's a different one. I've, I've got a feeling it probably is, and uh, it's just um, that they've been protected. So the canopy uh, then goes on. Um, that's a photo edge part, I believe. Um, sort of like a, a, the vent grid grill. So the yeah, as as I thought, the um, the floats won't be going on if I put the um, main wheels on. So um, that's easy enough to do, I think. And of course, we have the tail uh, production part going on. And then lastly, the rotor blades going on. And uh, on this page, you have the option that uh, the floats uh, going on there. Yeah, so I'm. Um, uh, uh, it looks like a fairly standard build to use for, uh, for uh, an hel helicopter, so that will be uh, quite interesting. So here, here goes uh, the paint sheet. So we as I said, we have two variants: the um, Air Force one, Air, Air Marine one, and um, of course the um, Coast Guard or the, the rescue one. Um, it's calling for Mr. Hobby paints, so I've got Mr. Hobby paints. I may as well just use them from my normal standard and see what goes on. Um, but I, I won't be doing the um, the I think they're called exception rescue. I'm not sure. Um, option is I've done yellow ones before, so um, I've never done the marine, so I'll get into that. So I'll go away and get all this uh, wash and prep, then I'll come back and start the build. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? If you do so, why don't you subscribe to the channel as well? And um, if you do that, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date, not only with this build, but all my other builds as well, of course. Hit the like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. And of course, you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.